the next person we've got is Claire, and you mentioned thunderstorms ah. there. Um, so, uh, so that's a nice link. Yes. Hi, Claire. Hi. Hiya. So it's a problem with thunderstorms. Yes, my dog Bobby, he's a cross between a Shih Tzu and a Yorkie. Um, he senses when they're coming, he gets very upset and whinges and whines and hyperventilates, he really pants and hides behind the couch. And when it starts to get really bad, he jumps in the bath and starts trying digging his way out. Oh, oh that must be horrible for oh, him. It is. He, he hates the bath normally, but when it's a thunderstorm, he jumps in and he's just digging and pining and just digging and digging and digging. I just don't know what to do. It's very distressing. Oh, but if yeah, you can I'll sense bet. it's coming and there's yeah. no sound yet, how do you calm him down? Yeah, it's, the dogs can get so... They can actually injure themselves. They get, you know, so frantic with these kind of situations. So what I would suggest, again, is that that desensitisation is really important. You can buy specific CDs for thunderstorms and for fireworks. There is a really, really nice little uh, gadget on the market called the Thunder Shirt, which is a kind of really tight-fitting jacket for dogs and just putting that on them actually really can calm them down because they feel quite comforted. A thunder shirt. Thunder shirt. Yeah, and you can actually uh, and you can actually wrap them up in it's nice and tight. And the other thing I would suggest as well is making them a den. So he's obviously trying to find a den. That's why he's digging in the bath. Yeah. Make, get a table, turn it upside down, cover it with blankets, make a really nice padded out den, fill it with all his toys and his favorite things, and that'll be his go-to place if he's feeling anxious. That's a safe place. Yeah. All right. Good luck with that. Um